we feel that the genetic revolution is still its early stages. Listen in as I explain why you should pay attention to the genomic process. But before that, welcome to Investing Wise Academy. For this video, we want you guys to know more about emerging technologies relevant to investing in just minutes. And researching and studying are vital before investing. So, this video is made solely to share content about becoming a smart investor in 4 minutes. So make sure to subscribe to be updated for more upcoming videos like this. Number 1. Gene Editing Gene editing is boosting medical research while posing a possible solution for a chronic disease. Gene editing is a process that adds, deletes, or changes DNA. This is true not only for humans but also for agriculture and diagnostics. In addition, gene editing allows corporations to build diagnostics and medicine with derivative goals due to its reduced costs and interviews. Number 2. Next Generation Sequencing So NGS is the foundation of the genomic revolution. For the first time, according to the researchers, they managed to sequence the whole human genome in 2003. The goal was to use such data to identify people, detect diseases sooner, and match them to a specified therapy. At the end of the Human Genome Project in 2003, it cost around $3 billion to sequence the whole human genome, which required a decade of computing. Today, that identical sequence costs as little as $600 and takes hours to put together. Because of cost reductions, there has been increase in volume, sequencing we conduct, and the number of therapeutic areas beginning to come online. As a result, we estimate that we're around 2.6 million human genome data sequenced in 2019, and we anticipate that costs will continue to fall and sequencing will begin to approach the $100 price range. We may have data worth more than 50 to 60 million human genomes every year. Number 3. Living Therapies Living therapies use the body's inherent process to help the immune system battle illness. Living treatments are primarily used to treat cancer, the second leading cause of mortality in the United States. However, according to the research, somehow they managed to envision extensive use for other critical conditions such as autoimmune diseases. Although these medicines are twice as expensive as standard therapies, we feel that the cost is justified by the additional life years gained. The addressable market for living therapeutics and oncology might surpass $200 billion annually. The addressable market will grow as more living treatments are approved for cancer therapy and beyond. Number 4. Liquid Biopsies NGS has made liquid biopsies of the essential techniques and oncologist toolkits for the whole century. They enable doctors to utilize modern sequencing to discover extremely minute pieces of DNA in blood and use that as guidance for cancer treatment. They are broadly applicable across the entire cancer care continuum, from being used to detect cancer in its early stages, when it is most treatable, to therapy optimization, which means understanding the mutation that is happening inside a patient and using that information to match them to the targeted therapy will most likely cure them of their disease. Even more essential, something obscure, the present monitor. When a patient is being treated, it is critical to be able to follow them throughout the time, whether the treatment be surgery or chemotherapy. To guarantee that cancer do not resurface, as a result, liquid biopsies are changing all of these fields. We estimate that the market covered by liquid biopsies might be valued at up to $100 billion in the United States alone by the end of 2025. Number 5. Bioinformatics The spread of health data has been enormous, thanks to the things like Apple Watch. As a result, bioinformatics, an interdisciplinary discipline that combines biology and computer science, was born. Provide tools for understanding, storing, analyzing, and disseminating biological data. Artificial intelligence will improve the efficiency of research and development by connecting the underlying biology to health results. If you look at this way, investment in bioinformatics might reach in $200 billion by 2024. Do you think it's worth to invest in these? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to be updated for more upcoming 4-minute videos like this. Again, I am Jules and thank you for watching. See you on the next one.